here I am, just entered Yusuf Valley Coal Mine. This is my first day of hunting this year. We're hunting up in an area called Jumbo Dome here at the coal mine in Healy, Alaska. My name is Sam Kimmel, and I am a co-founder of Last Frontier Ministries. And uh, I'm excited to get up there. We had a little hiccup this morning. We had our, uh, our trailer break a spring on me. So this morning I was up early trying to fix that broken spring for the trailer before we can get out there and do the work that we're going to do. But uh, my daughter and myself are now ready to go. We should be heading up there real soon after we get in the truck. And then we'll meet Rob and his kids up there. And hopefully we can see if we can get ourselves a moose this year. Last Frontier Ministries was founded about 15 years ago, March of 2008. And so we're really excited about that. The truck ready to go and I'll load it up. Right, Miranda, you ready to go? Rainy, rainy, rainy day. Going up on Coal Mine Road. Getting ready to load it. It's raining right now. I think we'll stamp off a bit. My name is Rob Graham, and I am the co-founder of Last Frontier Ministries. So, no. Rob, yes. Uh, what is this you're doing here? So, this, this is, is a ladle. This is this is my ladle, and ow, it's getting really hot because it's, it's hot ladle. metal. It's a hot ladle. <laughs> it goes um, along with your uh, my duct, duct tape door. Duct tape door. So I sell these. Um, they have different designs on them depending on what we've eaten, <laughs> but it works really, really good. So it gets so hot that your hand can't stand it. That is true. Here you go. <laughs> okay, I'll take two. There are 231 federally recognized villages in Alaska. All right, Mikhail, what happened? Well, camera on the bend. We were just talking about how we haven't seen any grouse. And we come up here and there's a bunch of ptarmigans right there. Around the corner and we pulled out the 22 right there and shot two of them right here. Nice. Yep. You shot both of them, huh? Yep. Yeah, but how many times did you have to shoot to get two? Let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't seven. It really wasn't. So, take the birds like this. Step on them. Like this. Take their... Right 
can I so. keep it? We're going to keep them. My dad's going to cook them tonight. Um, village life is hard. Uh, life in the villages up here in the summertime, it's a lot easier because it's light 24 hours a day. Uh, in the wintertime, it gets a lot darker. Uh, therefore, they get kind of cooped up into their homes and it can be very depressing. There's a high substance abuse issue in Alaska. Um, there's not a lot to do in the villages unless you're into like basketball for the kids, even though adults will play basketball. Um, but village life, it can be very hard. Okay, so uh, what is this second coat that you're adding on here, the second layer? Well, see, the problem is my wife did not buy real duct tape. She bought this generic stuff. So. I'm just adding another layer of protection. But this will probably last longer than the insert itself. And so what you're saying is this is really just a better value than the actual window that was there before? Of course. People, you know, people go to an auto body shop and pay big money for this. But three dollars, well generic, like D15. We'll see how it holds up in the river. And then I can even take my cup back. Oh, that'll be nice. So your cost per mile on this window is pretty low. Is what you're my saying. cost per mile is extremely This is like brand new, Rob. Huh? You like that? <laughs> huh? Come on. Now it's going to keep water in there. So what you're saying is that's waterproof? Well, or is it water resistant? <laughs> I'm wanting to say resistant. <laughs> because my because seams aren't generic. flawless. Because it's generic. <laughs> so we're going to go down over there to the river and we're going to see if it holds up. something yeah, tougher like we can start selling these on ebay man <laughs> call it the toe clap 
Go flat door. Oh, I gotta open it up. Come on. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Alaska uh, is three times the size of Texas. Um, and we, we actually pride ourselves on that. But what we don't uh, pride ourselves on is the fact that Alaska has like three times the substance abuse issues that they do in the lower 48. Um, Alaska is, it, we lead in suicides, we lead in drug abuse, we lead in alcoholism or chronic inebriates, uh, we lead in domestic abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse. Uh, we lead the country in that. So those are the things that we're not proud of. Rob, what, yes. are, you, what are you doing right now? Well, there was a guy who came into camp last night who decided he was going to make top ramen and he left the lid up, which got everything wet. So now we got to fix this idiot's mistakes. Who would that idiot be? I have no clue. Does his name rhyme with Bob? Probably. So you're using toilet paper to wipe our burners down. That's right. Because duct tape's non-absorbent. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Come on, We're buddy. Can we get some coffee going on that one? Villages need the gospel because we're supposed to be light bearers that go into all the earth. And the villages uh, in Alaska would, you know, with Alaska being three times the size of Texas and there being 231 federally recognized villages in Alaska, imagine how far spread out those villages are. I mean, some of, we just got off the river and we went 60 miles down river to hit one village. The next village is another 60 or 70 miles past that, so on and so forth. There's not a whole lot of people going. What are you doing there, Rob? Uh, this is, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's vapor locked. And so, um, it's got air inside of the heating coil. And so what I'm doing is, is I'm pushing the antifreeze through the heating coil so that it moves that air bubble out. Doing CPU on your vehicle. <laughs> Multi-tool looks great on you. Uh, this new woke movement. So it's got a little tiny, oh, hey, it's got a Phillips as well. It's got an Indiana now. Let's see, what else does this uh, Leatherman have on it that's, oh, a bottle opener, you know, in case you're in a, ever in a place where you need a drink quick. Sure, what that is probably a toothpick. <laughs> Get the toe jam out of your feet. Uh, but even though it is um, quite colorful, it got the job done. So good job there. There's not a ton of people going. The reason why we want to bring the gospel into the villages is first and foremost, um, the word of God says that he seeks and saves that who is lost. Uh, he says he wills for none to perish, but all to come into the repentance and knowledge of him.
How's it taste there, buddy? <laughs> Edible. It's breakfast. Breakfast. Um. This is how my kids grow up more than not eat anything. <laughs> well, what except you eating. You get what you get, you don't throw a fit. Hey, we want you guys to check us out. We want you to go to lastfrontierministries.com to learn more about us. And you can also sign up to win a free trip to Alaska. So please go to www.lastfrontierministries.com and you can find us there, sign up to win a trip to Alaska, and we will see you next time. Okay, do it again? Yeah. What am I supposed to say? There are 231 federally recognized villages in Alaska, and there's a couple that aren't federally... Fe